You probably heard before that overall death totals continue to go up and minutes matter when someone is overdosing. And that's why Huntsville Fire and Rescue is working to get the department equipped with the opioid reversal drug Narcan. It's a group effort by Huntsville first responders when a drug overdose call comes over their radios. Huntsville Fire, uh, Huntsville Police Department and HMC and we all kind of work together as a team. But with 19 stations, Councilman Bill Kling says Huntsville Fire is often the first on scene. Because we have so many fire stations throughout the city, firefighter first responders can be just about anywhere in the city within uh, three or four minutes, which is a very quick response time. Huntsville Fire Chief Mac McFarland says they realize that in an overdose, minutes matter. So if that need is there from an overdose patient that is affecting their respiratory system, we need to be where we can start correcting that problem immediately. They've been working on getting the department Narcan for several months. It's not as simple as just going to get the Narcan. The chief says they have to have all the proper channels in place before implementation. For our folks who are EMTs, we have to fall under medical protocol, which is a lot stricter than just anyone else that just happens to have Narcan and give it to a patient. The department should soon be able to equip fire EMTs in every response vehicle with a life-saving drug. Every EMT we got that's available to respond will have this issued as part of their medical supply. But first, McFarland says they must have proper training, logistical support to replenish supply, and a new record-keeping system. And all that is kind of coming to a point at this time, which we were already working on, but we're just about there. Chief McMarland says that they hope to have that Narcan training and implementation complete for the fire department in three to four weeks.